Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video and in this video, we're going to talk about how we can introduce Parallax using the Material CSS as well as we'll be answering some of the questions regarding rows and columns and some of the very common questions. Let's get started and talk about it. So, so far we have created our this web page which is looking pretty beautiful and is having all these cards with the effects and a whole bunch of other things. Now let's go on to the Parallax. And in the JavaScript section, you're going to see there is an option of Parallax. And having this Parallax is actually super easy. You can open up the demo too to see that how this Parallax effect can be implemented. They are doing a pretty remarkable job here with the Parallax. And I think this looks absolutely beautiful. So all we have to do to initialize this Parallax is you need to have a Parallax here just like this. And there you can insert the parallax. So we are going to first copy this JavaScript part or the jQuery part of it. Moving into the loader and we will turn on the parallax. Only important thing that we have to notice here that there should be a class which says parallax. So why not to just go up here and just copy simply this one here. Move back to our HTML and we will be first and foremost closing down this card section. So favorite card section is now closed and we will be entering another section. So this section is going to have a class of parallax and there we go and we'll paste that here. Oops, my bad. Parallax. Now all we have to do is first and foremost make sure we replace the image that we want to have here. So I'm going to be simply saying images slash curvo 2 dot png. Save that and this is not going to do much of the stuff as you can see. Uh, this is up here but this is not looking really really very pretty. So first and foremost we need to write a little bit of the CSS styling for it. Not much but a little bit. Let's save this guy and write a little bit of the CSS. We won't be going a much into the CSS depth for it but we'll write a little bit. So let's go up here. I will just go and target this parallax container. So copy that. Move up here. And there we go, we have targeted that. The only two property that we'll be setting it up here is first and foremost is gonna be a min height, min dash height, that's gonna be around 380 pixels. There we go. And we'll also set the height as auto. Save that and there we go. Now this is parallax, but in order to see it properly, we need to have a bit more of uh, content below it so that we can see that images are scrolling at a different pace and the page is scrolling at a different place, giving us a total parallax. Now, what we can do, we surely can copy paste and test out the few stuff, but rather I do have some stuff that is already a part of this web design. And which also brings us to a couple of more stuff. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and create that section. So I'll create a section and that's going to be about a section. So my favorite about section is going to go here. Now, watch this closely there is a little bit common question that goes on here which goes something like this if we have a division which we call this as a simple section and we'll have a class as of white and will be at center we have a division no problem in that now in usual division we create a row first and foremost and we will also add a class of container container and the container job is really simple. Don't let everything to expand at the very corner of the edges, but just keep it a little bit shrink here. Now, usually I mentioned that in every row, there should be some columns and columns are divided into 12 equal parts and you can use any part of it. Fourth part of it, fifth part of it, however you like. But is it always necessary to create columns inside the row? Not at all. It is recommended, but sometimes you can actually avoid it. For example, here, if I just use an H2 with a class of header and I put something like uh, about us here, about us, and just below that, if I introduce a paragraph, uh, which is gonna have a gray dash text and will have a class of text dash darken dash three, and I insert a few lorem ipsum word here. For example, if I add a lorem of 100 words here, save that, and I see how this is going to look like. So you can see this is also looking up nicely, and I hope you can see a bit about the parallax, not much. Eventually, as we are going to design more of it, it's going to become subsequent there. But you can see that we are not adding any columns, still it is working. Now, I only would say that you can do this if you want to use the entirety of the width here. 
Otherwise, having the column is much better idea. If any time I say that, hey, I'm not looking at going full way up there, I want you to shrink it a little bit, probably 10th out of the 12 columns should be used, then in that case, having a column would be only option to have here. Now, just for fun stuff, I'll add a little bit more here. So just below this paragraph, I would like to insert in uh, a link here. The link is gonna have a few classes. You can convert any link into button by just saying that, hey, get me a button class. But I'll also add a little bit more. I'll say that this class is gonna have some of the waves. So waves and dash effect. There we go. And I'll also say that this is gonna be a waves dash light. There we go. And I'll say read, oops, this one goes like that. And this one is gonna say read more. Save that and the button looks like this. Now right now, this is not again a coffee button. This is looking beautiful, but I want it a bit more, not like this. So let's go ahead and grab some of the CSS. I'll say that I want a background color to be this. I definitely can target a button there, but rather to target it there, I'll first hit an enter here. I would rather like to have a styling directly here. So I'll just say, hey, give me a style. And the style, I'll just say background. I don't need to say even the color. I'll just say background here. But I also need to mark this as important. Save that. And why are you not so happy? Okay. And there should, there we go. So there we go. Now this button is looking more like a theme that we are following. And again, the whole entirety of this entire project is to follow a certain theme so that it looks like more over a template. So we can see we have designed two components in this video and the parallax is looking so beautiful. Trust me, designing a parallax is not that much easy thanks to some of the libraries or the materialized CSS that we are able to do it so easily and so speedily. There we go. Uh, we just want a couple of more sections, but I'll call these ones as just like all done. So I'll just shrink them up. So parallax cards and about section is all done. Just a couple more sections and we will be done with this project.